In today's video, we see game played between Johannes Zuckerdolt and Joseph Blackburn. In this game, Johannes Zuckerdolt play with black pieces and Joseph Blackburn play with white pieces. This game was played in 1876 in London. So white starts with e4 and the Zuckerdolt replies with e5. Knight f3, knight c6. d4, squash game. e takes d4, knight takes d4. Knight f6, knight takes knight, b takes knight. Squash game, skimmed variation. Bishop d3, d5, queen e2. So white's next threat is e takes d5 and the discover check comes from queen. So Zuckerdolt prevent this with bishop e7, knight c3 and both players castles kingside, rook e8, e5. So now pressure on knight but Zuckerdolt didn't save his knight first and continue with bishop g4 and create pressure on queen. If white moves f3, then bishop c5 comes and check and after moving king, Zuckerdolt could save his bishop and white can't move his queen on e3 because d4 comes and the fork on both pieces. So after moving queen, d takes knight and after e takes knight, bishop takes f6, then white will capture this bishop. And after queen takes bishop, c takes b2 comes and the fork on both pieces. So white take this pawn, then bishop takes bishop and the material wise game is equal. But white continue with queen d2 and the Zuckerdolt save his knight. Knight d7, f4, knight c5, f5. So these two pawns are very dangerous. So Zuckerdolt continue with knight takes bishop and exchange his knight. c takes knight g6 f6. So now threat is simple. Queen h6 comes and direct threat is checkmate on g7. So Zuckerdolt prevent with bishop f8. And the white continue with queen g5, queen d7, rook f4, bishop f5, d4, c5, rook h4, bishop d3, queen g3. And now pressure on bishop, but black continue with c takes d4 and the pressure on knight. So after queen takes bishop, Zuckerdolt could take this knight, but white continue with rook takes d4, so black save his bishop. Bishop c4, rook h4. So white create pressure on king side, but Zuckerdolt didn't focus on king side because king is safe. So Zuckerdolt continue with queen f5 and the threat is checkmate. So white prevent this with bishop f4, d4, knight a4, bishop b5 and now knight can't jump anyway because these squares are covered. So white continue with b3 and the Zuckerdolt exchange his bishop. Bishop takes knight, b takes bishop, rook b8, rook e1. Rook b1 and offer for rook exchanges. If white take this rook, then queen takes rook and check. White can't move his pieces because white's pieces has no support on first rank. So white has to move his king, then queen takes a2 and check. And after king g1, again queen b1 and check. And after king f2, again check queen a2, then rook can join into attack. But after 
Rook B1 White decline the offer and continue with Bishop C1. So Zakar retort continue with Bishop B4 and create pressure on Rook. So White move his Rook on F1 and pressure on Queen. And here in this position, pause the video and think what is the next move of Zakar retort. If you find the move, congrats. And before going further, I will show you one amazing line. So let's back one move. Here in this position, if white move his rook on d1, then queen c2 comes and the pressure on both pieces. So white can take this d4 pawn. Then black could take this bishop, but white can't capture black's bishop because after moving rook this rook becomes supportless but here black continue with bishop c5 and pin this rook so again pressure on both pieces and after queen e3 queen takes rook and check and if white take this queen then white will lose his queen and if white take this bishop then white will lose his rook and the white will down in material and if white move his king then rook takes bishop comes and after rook takes rook bishop takes rook and the white has to resign but white move his rook on f1 and create pressure on queen so zakar told continue with queen takes rook and sacrifice his queen for rook and the bishop. So white has to take this queen. King takes queen, rook takes bishop and check. And now queen can't move to e1 because this e1 square is covered. Can't move his king on f2 because bishop e1 comes and then skewer creates. So after moving king, white will lose his queen. So white continue with king e2 and here pause the video for last time and think what is the next move of Zakal Tart. If you find the move, congrats. Let's see. So Zakal Tart sacrifice his rook. Rook takes e5 and check. And now king has limited options. So king has only three options. If king move to f2, then bishop e1 comes and the white will lose his queen. And if white move his king on d3, then rook c3 and check. And the white will lose his queen. Then king takes rook, bishop c3 and check. And after moving king, black could save his rook. So white will down in material. And if white continue with king f3, then rook e3 comes. And after moving king, white will lose his queen. So white didn't move his king and accept the rook sacrifice. Queen takes rook, so Zakar told continue with rook e1 and check. And this is called skewer. King d3, rook takes queen, rook takes d4. So now pressure on bishop and the same time threat is checkmate. Because this g7 square is covered. So Zakar told move his bishop on d6. And after bishop d6, white resigned here because white is down in material. If you like the game, then please subscribe the channel for watch more games.